I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to my food fantasy tutorials. This is your guild tutorial. Guilds unlock at player level 32, so it'll take a few days, uh, not an amazing amount of time, but uh, you do have to wait a little bit. The guild unlocks, then you'll get this little guild icon here. And um, first, you'll need to search for or establish a guild. Establishing a guild costs a little bit of diamonds. Um, I would suggest most players are probably just going to want to join a guild. I made a guild, as you can see here. Um, it's called Sir Tap Tap Guild ID 1271. Unfortunately, you probably can't join it. If, if you really want to join, I recommend joining our Discord server and being pretty active in the chat. Um, we can allow 10 people every level, so we're pretty limited on members. But before we get to that, let, let me explain what we do in the guild. For the most part, once you join a guild, your main responsibility is to go in here and create. Um, you can build 10 times a day for, you know, uh, 100,000 gold, which really isn't very much by the time you're level 32 and beyond. Uh, you should be getting much more than that every day from the uh, managing the restaurant. If you're short on gold, you're almost certainly, you know, kind of forgetting to do your restaurant stuff. Uh, so, try to get high dosage, or not dosage, high amount uh, dishes so that your workers can do a lot of work while you're away. That tends to be what gets you the most stuff. So, if you're a whale, more or less, you can give uh, diamonds or these construction coupons, which are bought with diamonds, um, to do more building, which means, you know, every everything in the game kind of has to, you know, be like, hey, whales do it a little bit better. And so <laughs> uh, the, the highest tier guilds are kind of always going to just be the, the whale factories. But um, my guild's gotten, I think we established about a week ago, and we're on level three now. We have 40 people, and it looks like we're going to get to level four in about... Eight days, I would say, from the rate that we've gone. So once you've created, at level, guild level one, all you can really do is create, you can talk in here, you can be like... For some reason the text doesn't appear when you use keyboard. But yeah, you can talk in there, you can see your other little duders. Um, the chat system is not the best, unfortunately. The chat system in the game, um, it only keeps the last one message. There's a single line of, like, backlog when you come in here. Pretty much everything is lost the moment that you leave, which is really unfortunate. And also, I think people just pop in here. I People that pop in here aren't necessarily actively, like, in the guild menu unless they're walking around and talking. I don't understand exactly what... I don't know if it's just, like, who's online, I guess. Yeah, I think it is just who's online at that moment. So you can see other people, and it's nice to see their, um, their, their stuff. As you can see, we've got... Somebody who's showing off their milk skin. You can change your character to show off. I'm showing off the Witch Macaroon outfit, which is pretty much my favorite. So you can show off your new characters that you just recently got. Um, show off your ultra rares and stuff like that. And the, the, it's, the social idea is nice, but the, the log being so short kind of sucks. And also, you can't use the guild chat. You can't replace the global chat with guild chat. See? Um, Global Chat is doing some memes and being garbage like they always are. You can't be like, oh, I'm just gonna switch over to Guild Chat and then we'll, like, see Guild Chat because a lot of MMOs let you do that. Nope. Only Global Chat here. So I really hope they change that up and hopefully, like, later on there'll be more than a single line of chat log. But for now, it's much easier to just chat in the Discord, so... I highly recommend, if you want to chat with a lot of people about this game, uh, join the Discord. It will be in the link in the description. Um, it's the main way to get to the, um, into the, gu the guilds anyway. But other than creating and chatting, the other things you can do in the guild is you can do these missions, which um, they just reset for the day. So it looks like we've done like no work, but that's because the day started five minutes ago. Um, but what you do is you get extra guild money and some other rewards. It's basically a whole set of new daily rewards, as long as your guild is really active and completes all of these. Um, my guild of 40 mostly active people. Let's see how active everybody's been. Um, login status online, four hours. So like, there's only a few people that have been gone for more than a, a day or two. So everybody's pretty active, so we get our missions done pretty quick. 
And completing missions gives you stuff, and it also increases the guild contributions. Guild contributions are how the guild levels up. So basically everybody has somewhat of responsibility to, you know, be active, and then the whole guild benefits. And it's pretty cool. So what's this guild money? Uh, when you create, you get guild money, and the guild gets guild contribution. Um, what does guild money do? Well, you can go to this store, and you can buy special things. Some of which can only be bought with guild money. So, one of the reasons guild level is so important is because, as you can see down here, it unlocks different levels of stuff to get. Um, these first five items, unfortunately, are basically garbage. Don't, don't spend your money on these. They might seem, like, you know, cheap and tempting, especially that beginner seasoning. That's actually pretty reasonable for beginner seasoning. But, if we look down here, we have spaghetti shards. He is exclusive to the guild menu, so I'm really looking forward to getting towards that. Um, there's also the Love Nest outfit for uh, Tayaki, which is basically her dressing in Doriaki's outfit. They do like they have like clothes swap skins. Um, Spirit Reincarnator, which that's not an incredibly bad price for, but uh, the spaghetti shards and the Canelli shards are really the main thing. The Love Nest outfit is also insanely expensive, by the way. Like holy crap, three hundred thousand. Like I've been here for a week, and I have three thousand. Um, by the way, being the guild's, like, master, um, you don't get extra points or stuff. Um, so you might be tempted to make, like, a guild, you know, to be the ruler master. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, everybody just have, being in the guild is all that matters. Also, if you leave a guild, you get to keep your guild money, but you can't actually spend it until you're in another guild. So it's it's not encouraged to leave or, and stuff. Also, if you leave a guild, you have a, a one-day waiting period before you can apply to another one. But you can also get, um, you can also get Canelli Shards, which is an ultra rare that is exclusive to the guild shop. And then you get large soul fruits at guild level 9. I don't know why that's such a high level thing, because you can buy those in the market. They're like, trash, basically. Shut up, Twitter. Sorry, I keep forgetting to turn that off. Um... But yeah, the, the guild shop is pretty legit. You really do need a fairly high level guild to really benefit from it. But um, we're looking forward to getting to guild level 5. I'm, like, honestly, it'll probably take a month or two f before guilds really get to the high level stuff. Which is a shame. But this game seems like... This game is a lot more MMO than I initially thought. Like, it's an MMO where everything is an instance of one. And that sounds stupid, but like... All of the systems seem very MMO influenced. Even if it's not, like, a bunch of people on one field, it definitely feels like an MMO otherwise. So yeah, the guilds are pretty nice. I just really think they need to upgrade that chat system so much. Um, because it's really fun. I've had, I've had some fun little chats very briefly in here, where multiple people were in here, and people were excited to see me. They're like, oh yeah, it's the guild master and stuff. Um, but mostly we just chat in Discord, because the guild chat system kind of sucks. Um... Also, it'd be nice if there was some way to know if these people like actually in the guild menu other than they're talking. Like, it looks like the guild's fully populated, but not all of these people are in the guild menu. In fact, probably none of them are, because they're not moving and not talking. But, uh, it, guilds are still fun, and I highly recommend that you do join some manner of guild, because only way to get Canelli and Spaghetti. So, if you want to touch that spaghetti, you gotta get to the guild. And... That's pretty much it. Oh yeah, you can change zones, which are just like rooms with people. Spoilers, they're all visually identical, unfortunately. That's another thing that hopefully they touch up, but like, fix the chat first, please. The chat's so bad. Uh, but it's a fun way to show off your skill. Usually when somebody gets a new skin or whatever, they'll pop in here, you know, take a screenshot of them showing off their new thing. Everybody likes to switch to their new... Um, new characters like Sei Sayako is showing off Double Scoop, the Super Giga Ultra Rare character. Um, Pineapple Mochu is really excited to get Pineapple Cake there. So yeah, that's pretty much all it for the guild. The guilds, um, let me show you all the guild rewards real quick. I'm not sure if I showed, but yeah, you can get 30 Soul Embers, 6 Seasonings, 2. These rewards don't seem to have leveled up from level 2, by the way. I'm not sure if... I don't think any non-whales have a guild much higher level than ours, so it's one of those things we're kind of have to discover as we go along. The requirements went up a little bit, but the difficulty didn't really. Like, we still complete everything. Uh, I don't know if the rewards really went up. The contribution value went up, but only the guild itself sees that. 
But yeah, that's how guilds work. They're pretty separate from most other things, but everything kind of feeds into the guild missions. So just being active in the game is kind of how you help benefit your guild, which kind of like, it's a nice, like, oops. Parker, don't close the game, please. My cat just pushed his face on the cancel button. You're talkative rabbit. Or salad, that's salad. Um... Anyway, that's pretty much it for guilds. Um, thanks for watching. I hope to have a whole bunch of these little tutorials. And if anything's confusing about the game, let me know. And if, especially if it's like missing from my guide or whatever. I always try to update my guides when any new info comes out and uh, try to help everybody out. So if you want more guides, make sure to like and subscribe and do all of that standard YouTube stuff.